my goodness folks, all of our years of hard work and graft have paid off. We have ourselves a Titan. Yes, we are Titan Huns now on this channel. From what I have read on the internet, the best vacuum cleaner all round. Like cleaning people use this. If you're a you know a Facebook hung cleaner, you will have a Titan rolling around in the back of your car. Well this one rolled around and rolled itself to us in a I don't want to tell you more, would you like it kind of way. I swapped this and three other machines for a Dyson DC40 and I am ever so excited. I have wanted to pass around with a Titan for ages, but obviously didn't want to spend any actual money on one. Let's see what we have and if it's actually usable or not. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and cheap screw fix vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, we have what I think is probably the bottom of the range TTB 774 VAC and Kingfisher International Products in the UK. Kingfisher owns screw fix on oh, BQ, so you'll probably find this in screw fix and BQ. Yeah, ever so. Ever so good machines. Now this one's quite complete actually. It isn't too bad in that regard. We have ourselves three plastic ones which have some residue of life on them. So yeah, three ones so we'll have a nice tall if not bendy cleaning angle. We then have the combination carpet and hard floor nozzle. Yes, this is what you get and this is what happens when you use it for its intended purpose. It's probably no surprise that just off shot, yes, the Victor V9, which is a far more competent machine for perhaps £100 more, is here to help out. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. Practically brand new. I did also spot these release tabs here, which don't seem to be released. Oh, there we go. They are releasing something because I guess you can change the inserts should you wish to. Or this would have come with, and this is actually just a hard floor one, it would have come with a separate carpet insert. We shall never know unless you comment down below if you have owned one. We don't have that, but yeah, we can now. Clean the floor the way that BQ intended. Oh, with the actual style of the show back on. Then things go rapidly downhill because we do have an hose, but as you can see, there is something unknown troubling it. What there also is is epoxy up here. So that's fabulous. Yeah, this 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 doesn't rotate anymore, and there is now. Not a lot I can do with that hose. What we will do with this end though is peel away the gaffer tape of truth and see what lies beneath. Oh, 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 it broke. That's one bit. So it's a two part repair. How knackered is it? Oh, it feels very knackered. Oh, yeah, that, that's quite broken. Ah, yes, we have the hose, because this is a cheapy, horrible, plasticky hose, has completely snapped away from here. Although, why I didn't just you know, try and rip out the inner hose, I'm not sure. There is the other side of that. It seems that was a stupid idea, because what they've actually done is, like, the hose is off oh, that end. There we go. Just part of the moulding, the whole thing is just stamped out. So I have actually made it worse by doing that. I now, yeah, though I was expecting something to twist onto, perhaps, you know, a little stubby peg. Nope, that is all one piece of not trash, basically. That's a bit of a shame, although reasonably easily bodgeable 
I suppose. What we should probably do though is work out if it's even going to be worth it. Let's put the headphone warning both audibly and maybe visually on the screen, although you don't need a headphone warning for me to tell you. This is going to be quite loud and um, yeah, it, it, it does have some issues as well. I'll be ready, it's not going to be on for long. <laughs> She's angry, folks. She is very, very angry. And she's angry mainly because it's been used for DIY. But the little filter, this is all that protects the whole thing from all of the trash. Fell off at some point and they carried on using it. So, uh, yeah, we hopefully that's you know, a good thing which will work out in a bit once we take it apart. But we should probably clean up this rubbish first. I mean, considering how the state of the hose makes it feel like it's from the 1970s, it actually cleaned up remarkably well. The little cheap generic sock, the worst of the dirt, came off nicely and did have been vacuumed out. Look, that's almost new now. We could probably take this into a B&Q and swap it. I wonder if my local screw fits do it. I don't have a receipt. I'll just make another one. Thanks. I don't know. What I do know is that under here may well be the motor and I don't know really part of me is a little bit quite confident that we might be able to sort it because if what has happened is what has happened the fan is going to be full of garbage problem is has it done any other damage and initially that seems pretty good it is also cheap and nasty like I feared this is all part of one assembly and the housing is part of the motor so we're going to have to come in from the bottom and go in from the top and um, i'm probably going to do quite a lot of good just getting rid of that well we've progressed just a little bit to taking off the fan yeah look there is the motor spindle and that's actually not bad and good problem is the fan is full of this sort of stuff including that piece of plastic and i can't help but feel that i'm not getting it all out with just a screwdriver so I need yeah I can see it all built up on this edge there's still so much fluff in there that we have to I don't really want to wash it before with you know laughed at the rest of it but yeah in here is look packed there we go look I've just pushed that in from it so we should I reckon this might do it we might try this first before taking off the top but if it's got this far it would have got further i don't want the cooling fan or whatever to be full of gunk as well so we'll come back when i've done this and we'll then have a look at the top end
Okay, how destroyed is the top half of our Titan Vac? Ooh, not very at all. Oh, well, there is a date, real, but no date. Oh, there's a month. Oh, yeah. 16. I can't read that. I'll have a look in a bit. Yeah, the fan top is pretty clean indeed. I think it's, just, it's, it's very, 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 very simple. You can tell how much of a budget version this is because that is where the front power takeoff socket would go. I mean, we could probably fit something were we to care that much about it. But yeah, that's good then. That means that what we can actually now do is pop it back together. I'll give everything a vacuum off so we don't ingest any more of that dust and see how it runs now. Oh, there we go, all back together. The filter fitted properly, although it might actually have a piece missing because there's nothing for the filter to grip onto. That would very easily now just slide straight off. And I'm not sure if that's correct. We also forgot to have a look at the little bit of foam that we could have easily got to at the back there because it does look terrible. But none of those things are really a concern now. We can plug our Titanic Titan back in and see if she sounds any happier. Yeah. Oh wow, that's, that's ever so smooth and quiet. So just the dirt in the fans. Filter is sort of holding on in there. I'm wondering if I might actually fit a massive cable tie around it because I can foresee it just happening. When it got full with dirt, it's probably just going to slide straight off. Yes, I can find a bag to fit in there. Oh wow, we can! Our good old friend, the cheap Nilfisk Bojack bag fits on and treat. That's very handy. We can put that on there and not really care if the filter falls off at all now. Oh, let's just put our hose on and oh poo, yes, we have to fix the hose. And when I say fix the hose, I mean bodge the hose. Crikey, if I'd have splashed out and got some black insulation tape, you'd never know that was repaired at all. That's much nicer even like that. Let's get rid of the stuff because I would like to keep. Yeah, not quite sure what all this writing is on the top of it, but it'll probably, yeah, that'll, that'll come off at some point. Let's not worry about that right now because, yeah, what we can do is ooh, some cleaning, Titan style. Pretty cool, I happen to have just obtained myself a fully working titanium vacuum cleaner. That's pretty cool. What am I going to do with it? Don't know. What should we do with it? Do comment down below. I mean, you know, I can't promise that the next time I see a distressed call on Facebook for an wet vacuum cleaner from somebody, I won't just give it away to them. But, you know... If I see so that's the problem with it now, you know, you've done your work. How the heck do you put yeah, the, the hose is made of plastic? That's about the best I've managed to get is to sort of wedge it around the poles and into that. But it, it doesn't look very happy. I've then forgotten the cable which goes behind there. Yeah, that's a bit, I don't know, really. It's almost as if it's a cheap vacuum cleaner that wasn't really designed. Oh, there we go. Look, you can sort of do what you can do with the iron hell 
and the ceiling and put it in there like that. Fair enough, that's cool. Right, I am off to go and start my own carpet cleaning business now that I have all of the equipment I need. And I, and well, possibly this Titan, will see you soon.